so hello everyone now we will see this question and it is given that the charge per unit length of a circular wire of radius a in the x y plane with center at the origin is charge per unit length is given lambda naught cos theta where lambda naught is some constant and the angle theta is measured from the positive x axis. So we have to find the electric field at the center of the circle. What will be electric field at the center? Four options are given. So this question is based on Coulomb's law and superposition principle. So we will see how to apply Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law and superposition principle. Principle. So we will first consider a circle in XY plane. Let's consider a circle in XY plane and This is the xy axis, this is x axis, and this is y axis. This is the center, center of the circle, and its radius is a. This radius is given, this radius is a. <coughs> now, charge is, its charge per unit length is, this is given as lambda is lambda naught cos theta. So it means this charge per unit length lambda is varying. This is because cos theta, its value will vary for different angles. So accordingly, this lambda will also vary. So let's see this variation. So if we see theta along this is, this will be theta 0. Up to this, you will get theta 0 to pi by 2. Then you have pi by 2 to theta is pi and this is 3 pi by 2. Theta will be 3 pi by 2. So this is the variation of theta. So you will see in the range 0 to pi by 2 cos theta value is positive. So we will take so this variation will be positive here. In the range pi by 2 to pi, cos theta value is negative. So we will take this variation as it is varying, but this sign will be negative. Also, from pi to 3 pi by 2, this value will be negative. And from 3 pi by 2 to again 2 pi, this value will be positive. So now there are different segment. In this segment, charge, char, charge is positive. So I am taking this as segment 1, 0 to pi by 2. Segment 2 is pi by 2 to pi. Segment 3 is pi to 3 pi by 2. And this will be the segment 4. So in Coulomb's law, we have to write, we have to take the elemental length and you have to find the electric field. And then you have to consider all elemental length over the circle. And then you have to take vector sum. That is the superposition principle. So let's see how, how we will apply. So consider elemental length DL here. Let's consider an elemental length DL over it. This elemental length is DL. For segment 1, and I am assuming that electric field here is this field is DE1 and I have taken this direction to be theta. So this direction is also theta because this charge is positive. So according to Coulomb's law, electric field will be away from the positive charge. So what will be magnitude of DE1? First, we will write the 
magnitude of de1 and that is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and what will be charge here lambda dl this is lambda dl charge and this because this radius is a so we can take it as a square And for a small variation, d theta, if you consider, let's say, if this is a and this is a, this angle is changes by d theta. So this dl is given by a d theta, dl is a d theta. So now we can write this. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and lambda is lambda naught cos theta dl is a d theta divided by a square so this will give you mod of d e1 is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught this is lambda not common here so lambda not by 4 pi epsilon not a and here you will get cos theta d theta this is the field due to elemental length dl so you have to consider all elemental length over this circle so because in segment one this variation is positive so it will vary in this region now if you see let's first see segment three if you have similar segment here, let's consider this segment. Same element DL here with symmetry. I'm taking same element DL here. So because this charge is negative, so electric field will be towards this side. So we, we can write this DE3 also in the same direction. So DE1, DE3, they are in the same direction. So this will be magnitude of DE3 also. Similarly, with symmetry, if I consider segment, any segment here, let's say DL segment, same segment. So this, in this direction, this is segment 4. So that will give you DE4. And if you consider similar segment here with symmetry so now this is positive charge away from the electric field this charge is negative so it will be towards the electric field so this will be again de2 but magnitude of this field is same so we can write this as mod de2 and mod of de4 So we have written the magnitude of the electric field due to each segment. Now we want to vector sum of all the field because we have considered all the segments. Now we will consider their vector sum. So we will resolve these in x, y plane. So with symmetry, you can see this angle is also theta with x axis. So if we resolve it, d e1 d2 d3 d4 along x direction so there will be two component in this direction and what will be these component in x direction and that direction is what negative x cap you can see so in x direction in x direction these components will be what de1 cos theta component will be mod de1 cos theta similarly you will get de3 cos theta de2 cos theta de4 cos theta so total will be four times because their magnitude is same so in x direction resultant will be 4 de1 cos theta and direction will be negative 
if we see in y direction, so if you resolve DE2 and DE4, so DE2 and DE4, they will be in this direction. And if you see DE1 and DE3, that will be in this direction. So although in y direction, magnitude is same, but they are in opposite direction. So they will cancel. So if you'll see in y direction, in y direction, in positive y direction, you have two DE, one cos sine theta. So this will be one component is, let's say DE1 mod DE1 sine theta, mod DE1 sine theta. So in negative y direction, you have 2d1 sin theta. And this is also 2d1 sin theta. So net will be 0. So in this, you can see in y direction, resultant is, resultant is 0. Because 2d1 sin theta and in Downward direction, 2 d1 sin theta. I am taking same magnitude, d2, d3, d4. So resultant in y direction is 0. So now you can see, you can identify direction of the field is in the minus x cap direction. So option is given. Now we will calculate the magnitude of the field. So magnitude of the field is given by, because this resultant is 4 d1 cos theta, so if you have to find ex component, that will be integral of 4 de1 magnitude of de1 cos theta. And this will be given by, we can write this value is 4 times lambda naught by 4 pi epsilon naught a. And if you multiply this, this becomes cos square theta d theta and you have to integrate from you have to consider one segment only because we have taken all segment and we have multiplied it with four so limit of theta will be zero to pi by two and this you can write as lambda naught by pi epsilon naught a integral 0 to pi by 2 and this will be 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 into d theta. So if we integrate it, this ex component is given by lambda naught by pi epsilon naught a and this will give you 1 by 2 theta plus sin 2 theta by 4 and this will be 0 to pi by 2. So, and if you substitute this limit, this value is lambda by pi epsilon naught a into this will give you, you should multiply with pi by 4 because this term will be 0 and then this pi will cancel out magnitude is lambda naught by 4 epsilon naught 4 epsilon naught a. This is the magnitude. So resultant field E is given by this is minus of Ex i cap because I am taking unit vector in x direction is i cap. So this will be in the minus i cap direction. So Ex is lam lambda naught by 4 epsilon naught a and direction is minus i cap. So from the given option option a is minus lambda naught by 4 a epsilon naught i cap so direction is minus i cap and magnitude is lambda by 4 epsilon naught a so option a is correct